Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Light Platinum. On the last episode, we made our way here to the Lauren Championship. Basically, the Elite Four of the Lauren region. I trained up my Pokemon to level 75, as you can see here. And now we are ready to take. Well, I'm not sure if we're ready. But let's go ahead inside to take on the first two Elite Four members of the Lauren region. First up, I hope we can check here. No, we can't. But she looks like a grass type user, so I will switch Blaze up front and let's take her on. Hello, let me introduce myself. I'm Robin, the first member of the Lawrence Elite Four. I use the power of poison Pokemon to battle. Alright, so I guess she's not grass, she's actually a poison type. And apparently her hair is now purple, even though it was green before. So, first up is Venomoth. So I guess Blaze wasn't that bad of a choice, since Blade, uh, I mean, since Venomoth can be taken out by fire type moves. You know, it's bug type and all. Scolipede is also next, let's just go for Lava Surf. I should not be speeding up this battle, since it's a uh, important battle. So Lava Surf will there go ahead and take on, I mean, take out the Scolipede. Alright, so there goes that. Next up is Muck. Let's see, I don't have anyone with ground type moves, but, uh, no, yeah, let's just keep Blaze out and just see what Blaze can do. Hopefully, uh, we do a pretty good amount of damage. If not, oh, yep, yeah, that did pretty good. Acid armor will increase its defenses. And so let's go for a sky, oh, no, fire blow will definitely take it out. And yep, because Fire Blow is like, at, what was it? Um, like 100 something? 120 power or something? Needle Queen is up next. I will actually use Bubbles for that because Needle Queen is a, uh, what do you call it? Ground type Pokemon. So we can definitely take that out. So let's go for a Surf. And I just realized. Uh, um, Robin's Pokemon are at 75, which are exactly like ours. So I'm gonna guess the champion Blake is gonna be like in the 80s, not too high above ours, but pretty high. And Venusaur is up last. Let's go for Blaze, and we should be able to take out Robin with no problem. And what we're only into like three minutes into the video. That's pretty good. Um, Maybe we can take on all four Elite Four in this video. <laughs> all four Elite Four. The entire Elite Four, basically. So there goes Venusaur, and that is it for Robin. Wow, that was uh, not too bad with Blaze. Wow, that was a great battle. I acknowledge your abilities as a trainer. Thank you. But I don't acknowledge your abilities as an Elite Four member. Ooh. You must go forth in search of more victories against Lauren's Elite Four. Alright, well... That was a pretty easy victory against you. Let's go ahead and take on the next member. And you look like an electric type user. I'll just keep Blaze out in front. Let's go ahead and take you on. Hey, I'm Weiss. Weiss. Weiss, a member of the Elite, Lawrence Elite Four. I use the extreme power of ground Pokemon to win. Well, I'm being terribly off with these uh, um, typings. So far, I said grass when it was poison and electric when it's ground. So I'm guessing I am naming the type that he's super effective against. But anyways, this is a clay doll here. Let's go for a sky or cut. It'll be neutral effective. Hyper beam. Uh, let's try a lava surf. And that did a lot more. But he's gonna go for a no. He doesn't. Wow. I was gonna say he's gonna go for like a full restore or something, but apparently he doesn't. So uh, there goes clay doll. Next up is Hippowdon. And let's go ahead and use Blade. I, f I think Blade is the most super effective Pokemon. Or, I don't know. Ground is kind of weird because Sand Slash either has really high defense or its typing makes it something like not so good with Grass or something. Because apparently Grass doesn't do much, but I'm pretty sure a water type attack would have taken it out like Surf. Whatever, let's go for another uh, Rage Leaf. Probably take out this Hippowdon. Maybe he'll live with like 2 HP, but who knows. Nope, yep, there we go, 2 HP. 
Let's. Oh, Jesus. That fissure. Definitely take out Blade. It's a one hit KO. I'm really surprised that hit, but of course, you know, it's the computer player, the Elite Four, you know. Uh, it's always gonna hit, right? Yeah, amazing. Um, let's go for a surf to take out the Hippodon. And there goes that. Level 77. Uh, maybe each Elite Four goes up by two, who knows? Torterra is up next. Let's actually use Blaze for that. And I believe a uh, a Lava Surf will do well against Torterra. Let's actually try it out. And oh, that stupid uh, Sandstorm is going to take an extra like second to you know show, which is going to take up time. You know, since I'm not speeding this up. Camerupt is up next. This is very good for bubbles because it is a fire ground type which makes uh, Surf, Waterfall, all my water type moves four times effective against it. And it's only level 75, meaning it's probably his weakest Pokemon. So there goes the Camerupt to the Surf. Surf, not Surf. So yeah, there goes to the Surf. And. Yeah, oh, you have one more. Steelix. Uh, definitely take that out with a Blaze. Uh, I'm not going to use fire type moves. I'm actually going to use a Sky Uppercut. And that should take it out because it should be four times effective. And it's only level 76. So I'm guessing his, the Hippowdon was his uh, best Pokemon. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm only guessing. Sky Uppercut didn't even do too much. So I don't know what the deal with that was. Um, let's actually try a fire blow and maybe that will actually be what takes it out and let's hope the fire blow does take it out and yes it does I'm guessing fire would have done a lot better job than uh, fighting so there we go we defeated elite four Whis I guess we is I don't know wow you're a better trainer I've ever you're the best trainer I've ever I've ever faced thank you uh, I can't say that about you because I pretty much defeated almost every trainer easily. You have the potential to become a spectacular trainer. If you continue being such a great trainer, everything will work out for you. Alright, since uh, there's, we still have a lot of time, I'm actually going to keep on battling the uh, Elite Four members and take them all down, actually. Um, yep, Blade is down, so let's revive Blade and use some Hyper Potions. One on you and one on blaze alright so let's see you look like a fire type user let's uh, put bubbles up front and take her on prepare to face honey that were your dark type user prepare, prepare to face honey of Lauren's elite four I use dark Pokemon get ready for battle alright so um, it'd be nice if I had um, was Nope, not bite wouldn't actually help because it's dark types, but um, what what move would it help? I don't know. So Sableye here is at level 77, so uh, her Pokemon are going to start at 77. That's that's great. Uh, Honchkrow is up next. Let's go for Zapper. Um, what What's good against dark? Fighting? Uh, yeah, I have fighting type. That's that's pretty easy. Um, Honchkrow, let's go for a Thunder Shock, and that should take out... Oh, no, it didn't. Um... Let's go for another Thunder Shock that should take it out now. Uh, definitely. And, yep, there goes Punch Crow. Helm Doom is up next. So let's go for Bubbles because, you know, Helm Doom fire type. So, why not, why not put out the fire with some water, even though it's best to take it out with some dirt? But, I don't have any ground types, so, yeah. Er, ground types are actually pretty good. I kind of wish I had one on my team. Maybe as my fifth member, but. It's too late for that. I'm already about to defeat the Elite Four and the Champion. Doesn't seem like too much of a hard job. Umbreon is up next. Uh, we'll send out Blaze. Oh, jeez. I don't know if that was a hiccup or uh, I don't. I don't know what just happened. But yeah, uh, Umbreon is up next. Let's go for a Sky Uppercut. And that 78. Wow. So I'm guessing this is his highest level Pokemon. So yeah, it's a level seven. Actually, no. Um, his lowest level was 77. So maybe a level 79 or a level 80 is his highest. Or maybe this Umbreon actually is his highest. Who knows? Um, but there we go. Blaze to level 76. And yeah. Who's up? Absol is up next. Maybe actually, this might be his highest. Let's see. Yep. 
Level 79, Absol is his highest level Pokemon. And we can take it out very easily with a Sky Uppercut. So there you go. We just disaster the disaster Pokemon. And we defeated Honey. You must have good reflexes to defeat my Pokemon. Well, they weren't really that fast. I kind of went faster than went first and kind of took them out pretty easily. To achieve great power, you need a balanced team of Pokemon. Well, why do you have all dark type Pokemon then? You can't have a balanced team if they're all the same type. Unless you know they have different dual types. That would be better. I have no idea what you are. But I am not going to risk having bubbles out there. Maybe you're an electric type user. Who knows? Let's go ahead and take you on. Be prepared. Oh, Jesus. Be prepared to face the rage of dragons. I'm Rain, and I'm the great dragon tamer of Lawrence Elite Four. I'll defeat any any challenger. I was thinking of how I was actually supposed to uh, pronounce her name. Um, I'm gonna go with Rain. Rainy, Rainy. I don't know. <laughs> and of course, a Kingdra is up first, and that is definitely going to take out my uh, Blaze here. So I'm gonna speed it up until it takes me out. Oh, oh! I actually. I actually took it out with some Sky Uppercuts. Was not expecting that. So Altaria is up next. This is actually Jevrath's Elite Four member right here. Cause you know, Dragon against Dragon, pretty good. Uh, Jevrath is actually also my fastest Pokemon, so um, shouldn't be too much to take it out. Yep, look at that. My special attack. No, is my special attack the highest? I don't. No, I don't think Jevrath is the highest. It's someone else's can't remember um, but yeah let's just take on level 80 geez let's just take on all these uh, dragon types very very easily with my overpowered Jevrath I, I'm Jevrath was a great addition to my team dragon I, I'm here is, I'm gonna guess is her strongest Pokemon oh no it what what's gonna be is she gonna have a high dragon as well or maybe a Garchomp Ooh, this is gonna be interesting I really want to know why would you use wing attack are you stupid um, I really want to know what her last Pokemon is going to be it's gonna be either an a Hydreigon or a uh, Garchomp and it is a Salamence wow I was I forgot about Salamence I'm not, wow um, yeah I'm kinda stupid forgot about Salamence um, but let's use the Dragon Claw and let's see how much that does maybe take it out Yes! Wow. So, I'm, her her Dragonite was actually the hardest to take out. So, yeah. I'm, I was impressed with how you battled. Thank you. Um, you weren't that great of a battler. So, yeah. Now that you've beaten the Dragon Tamer, you're almost the new champion of Lauren. Uh, of course I am. But I'm going to end off the episode right here in this uh, spot right here. Before we actually go in. So, I, let me actually heal up my Pokemon real quick. Um, super Potions. Not going to need that many. Um, just that, and that should be it. So, I will see you guys on the next episode. Um, where we take on the Lauren League Champion, Blake. But, for now, I'll be heading off. So, see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I... Yeah, please don't. I, I want followers. Let you guys know what's up. But yeah, goodbye. <laughs>